Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Andy Carter here. Thanks very much for checking out today's video. We're back, we're filming, and it feels bloody brilliant. However, I do have to say, this is the third time I'm filming this video. I clearly have got so out of touch with what I was doing. Having a couple of weeks off has wrecked me because I was outside. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. I've got my t-shirt on. I've got the legs out. I've got the shorts on. It is beautiful outside, but it's crazy, crazy windy. My audio didn't work. Fuming. So I thought I'd come into the studio, filmed it again. Then apparently I didn't press record on the camera. I'm having a shocker today, guys. I'm having a shocker. So I'm doing this video for the third time, which means it's going to be three times better than how I did it outside. So you're lucky. Because today's video is all about irons, ball striking, how to get neutral in your golf swing. How do you get neutral? How do you practice neutral? And all you're going to need for this video, honestly, if you've got a seven iron and you've got space, great. If you're in the kitchen and you've got a wooden spoon, that is all you need. You do not need much for this video at all. So let's get stuck into this because I, think, I reckon there's some gold. Actually, I know there's some gold. I've done it twice already. In this video, we're going to be talking about the positions in which I want to try and get your golf swing so it's as close to neutral as possible. Now, neutral is a great place for us all to be, but it's also a place that none of us actually are. So we're gonna build the swing with four points that you can reflect on to see where your golf swing's at in comparison and where you can move your golf swing to make it better. So we're gonna start on setup. Now, first of all, I've got a seven iron in my hand, so we're gonna go with that kind of generic feet shoulder width apart, ball position in the center, Distance from the ball is always one where a question that I get asked. So the shoulder's just pushing down in front of the toes. And then from here, we're looking at a four key points in the golf swing that can help make your swing more neutral. This is a drill that I do with a lot of clients on a one-to-one -one basis when we're on the driving range. And a lot of clients actually that I teach remotely. So I teach through the app Skillist. And this is a great way of us talking through and comparing where their golf swing is in comparison to what we would class as kind of a neutral golf swing. And it's, an, it's a great drill for people to get, for you to get an understanding of what is neutral and what is a better position for you to be in. Also, if you are interested in the Skillist app, the link is in the description below to my profile. Because I do get a lot of people asking or saying actually, it'd be great to be able to fly across to the, to the UAE or fly across to the UK and have a lesson with me you can just now do it through an app and we do Zoom lessons, live lessons. It's, it's actually superb. It's, let's talk about position now. So position number one is gonna be here, the shaft of the club pointing straight down the target line. It's also, if I put it on the ground, pretty much parallel to my feet. So the golf swing is working in straight lines, although we are making a rotation. We always look at those straight line points. We work a lot on parallel lines and a lot on the 90 degree angle relative to target. So if I take my takeaway here, shaft the club to the target, as I get to the top of the backswing, if I get into the, if I get a far enough from rotation, which to be fair, I don't normally, but if you do, then you want to be able to see the shaft of the club up here pointing towards the target as well. You never want to see the club too laid off and you don't want to see the club too much across the line. Those positions are definite do nots, okay? So we want to try and be as neutral as possible. Then as we come back down, we're back into position three, which was also position one. And I say that with a bit of a pinch of salt in there because it's not really. Your body's in a different position. You're probably a little bit narrower. Your weight's more to your left. So it's not actually in the same position, but it has the same theory behind it in regards to the fact that the shaft of the club points down the target line. You're going to hit the ball and then guess where the shaft of the club is pointing at this point as well, straight down the target line. So we go up, pull it down, and fat it straight into the screen. I told you it's not foolproof, but this is a great way to be able to feel the positions that you're trying to get into. And this is something I don't see enough of with people practicing, just working the golf swing through different points of the movements and making sure that you get takeaway, top of the swing, pulling it down to that position, and then you're releasing it straight through and you see again the shaft of the club is down the target line. 
And one of the key areas of this practice drill is trying to feel where that transition is because we all know and the majority of golfers slice the golf ball and they tend to do so by getting to the top of the backswing. Could be an amazing position all the way, go, all the way to here, but then that first movement is there. And obviously that position now is not parallel to target. The shaft of the club now works left, which as we know, slices the ball to the right. Golfers that hit a bit too much of a hook will get the club into this position normally, that's me, and the shaft of the club will point to the right of the target. The path will go right, face will work left, and we'll hook it, or we'll get a massive push or a push slice with the face open to the right. And that is the, that's even worse is the push slice. Nobody wants a push slice. But again, I have one with my driver. So feel him, position on the way back, bosh, beautiful, up, feel that. How do we work that position out? Because that's the key, I think, in the majority of golf swings. Pull it down and fire through. And just go through the grind of really working through those, posi those positions to get the neutral, understand what neutral is, Oh, I didn't register, I ripped it. Understand what neutral is and how you're gonna be able to create that neutral position, how you're gonna manipulate your body to do so to make your golf swing better. Guys, thank you very much for watching. It's amazing to be back. Loads of content coming, three videos every single week. So do hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out. Also hit the bell for notifications. If you want a bit of an update on everything that's going on in life, in golf, follow me on my social media platforms. Got Facebook, Instagram, I like to throw, I also like to throw a few controversial tweets up there and let people go fishing. There's some angry people. It's good, good fun to be fair. But guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon.